gives the long pass out to no one in particular. Jason Smith there gave it to Mark Brock and cheer over the top to Jared McCracken. McCracken now for the line. Gives it back into Halligan. Halligan for the line. Scores the try for Canterbury. Oh. And Canterbury, two minutes to go before the break. Score the try in the corner. Put well, this. Matthew, Rob, you've just mentioned it. And the Canterbury backs downside. Score the try. Put this down to champion Ablett football. Look at McCracken. He takes the centre. Well, actually, Matthew Johns and his brother over the sideline with him. Just leaves a bit of space for Halligan. And he just finds the line. Just beats the cover to the line. Well, look at Jason Smith offload the ball there. Over the top. This is all off the top of the head. This is Ablett. But watch McCracken here. Takes Matthew Johns with him. Takes two of them out. Leaves the space for Halligan. And he just beats the cover to the corner. Yeah, it appears I put the mocker on the Knights for him with that earlier comment, but uh, McCracken sort of a la Terry Hill on Saturday, uh, showing his strength there to get that inside ball to Halligan. But uh, that's certainly what the Knights didn't need at this point in time. Barnes just couldn't wrap that ball up there. The ball's gone out. Yeah, just the strength of this guy is unbelievable, isn't it? He's taken Matthew Andrews there. He couldn't do much. He got caught up in it all. Steve Crow just couldn't get quite across in... Uh, Halligan's given himself a difficult conversion, but as Matthew Rodwell said, how many times... Lock the ball up. That's where they just can't allow Canterbury to ball play here. Good tackle by Robbie McCormick, right around the ankles of Dean Pay. In front of the post now, Jason Smith turns it back inside for Jimmy Dimmick, pops it up to Terry Lamb, oh. and Canterbury score the try, and Canterbury lead for the first time in the match. How to hit back, and how to hit back quickly, and Canterbury have certainly done that. And I'd like to have a look at the replay here of the pass from Jason Smith back into Terry Lamb. Here's the, here's the pass there from Jason Smith really into Dean Pay. Holds the ball up for Terry Lamb. Yes, and he takes it and actually got under a low, got under a high shot there from Robbie Ross as well. Ironically, at half time, Chris Anderson was concerned about uh, the Bulldogs' short passing game. There was too many turnovers, but uh, uh, from an ensuing move with a lot of short passes in it, they've scored a try. Well, in actual fact, Terry Lamb got under the uh, swinging yeah. arm of Paul Harrigan, who really doesn't need to do anything stupid here, but I'm sure that would have come from the conversation they had midfield. Yeah, amazing pass this from Jim Dimmick, just straight over the back of his head. Probably a, a, a good one also, just prior to that, from Smith to Dimmick. Harrigan, well, Barbar's quite lucky that he's ducked and he scored a good try, a good hit back from... Uh, back to Gillies. Gillies to Lamb. Lamb to Brockenshire. He's got a bit of room to move in. Mark Brockenshire charges towards the line, the big fella. What a great run from the replacement. Last tackle now for Canterbury. Flicked out to Jason Williams, throws it up to the best support player in the world and Terry Lamb touches under the sticks for his second try of the afternoon. Great run by Mark Brockenshire. Lamb gets his second. Well, it just opened up for Brockenshire, didn't it? Down the middle of the ruck. And he went very close to scoring himself from the play of the ball. The ball comes back to Jason Smith. What a great player. He's a terrific ball player. Just shots the ball up in the air. He knew they were coming through. Perhaps the Knights' defence on their line was far too wide. They should have been more compressed. And Lamb strolls over. Shows the class of Jason Smith to be able to pull that ball in and throw that ball up to who else, who else but Terry Lamb. His second try in the space of six minutes. Isn't that great? Yeah, good spread play. As you said, Macca, Newcastle just not compressed enough. Williams caught the... Smith caught the ball behind him. It wasn't a speculator at all, as some might mention. Terry Lamb was there. Smith knew where it was going. Good try from Canterbury, and I think uh, that might be a telltale sign for Newcastle. But trace it back to, it was tackle one. Brad Godden played the ball. Russell Wire knocked on. Make Nathan Barnes, I'm sorry, knocked on. And that gave... Now within about eight metres, Canterbury. Last tackle. Benny Gills, Gillies wants the quick play of the ball. Terry Lamb on the toe. Gets the favourable oh. bounce off the upright and scores his third try of the afternoon. There is no doubt about this little magician. <laughs> he had a touch of luck on that occasion. He'll probably tell you later on that he's aimed for the post. That but have a look at this. Oh, yeah, look at this. It just looks like a snooker shot, isn't it? Only goes, pounces, six points. Terry Lamb's third try. Matthew, I'm sure Farr will tell you he meant to do that. He pinpointed that kick, but uh, when things are going well and going your way, well, you can't complain, can you, on that three tries for Terry Lamb Watch this one head on here. As you said, Matthew, I reckon he's, he's, he's trained that all week. He's made this ball talk and singing to him. He's hit the pad. That's great. I can see Dave Williams in the two-ease box now. He's a Knights fan, but he's a closet. Canterbury supporter, we all know that. Barbar Lamb, third try of the afternoon. Hasn't he had a great game, really? He's just sets the tone for Canterbury side. Great campaigner. Newcastle gave them the opportunity by some 
poor mistakes in their own quarter. They took the Here's opportunity. Here's the interception from Jared McCracken. The Knights had to force the pass wide. McCracken picked it off and scored the try as the siren sounds here at Marathon Stadium. Well, it was the last throw of the Knights for Newcastle Knights to try and get a draw out of it. McCracken was Johnny on the spot and he's under the pole. Oh, well, you can't blame him for that, yeah. Matthew Johns, I think, had to throw the ball. Here we go from the scrum. Andrew Johns. Can't pick it up on the script, but there's the pass here. Matthew Johns, he tries to get his guys on who were on the outside of McCracken. McCracken got between it. He read it quite well and finished off the scoreline. It's going to read about 30 points to 18 in favour of Canterbury. A great match. A few costly errors at vital times cost Newcastle dearly, and they were the ones just after half time that got Terry Lambert get two tries. Yeah, Johns, he just had to take the chances, didn't he? McCracken there. If the ball had gone beyond him, who knows? But the score line ends up. 28-18, Canterbury, a good win. Well, the uh, final point score here, you'll find it will be 32 points to 18 in favour of Canterbury. An excellent game of football. Four